guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Bola Abiri, and I'm back with another one on our skincare series, guys. I'm keeping to uploading videos twice a week, one on a Sunday and one on a Wednesday. And today we'll just be talking about my six unpopular opinions about skincare. You could also take this as your skincare basic, skincare 101, whatever you wish to call it. Um, it's just going to be me speaking about skincare and things I think everyone should know. Our skin stays with us forever. Like how you look or how your skin looks is one thing that people would always notice first before they even speak to you. So your skin looking good can either make people categorize you in this good place or this sort of better place or categorize you in a place where you know what maybe you're struggling with one thing or the other. And I'm saying this because I've been there once before when no matter how well rested i was um people just seemed to think i was stressed and um, before they were talking to me because of how dull my skin looked and you know i was struggling with some skincare problems at the time as well this is majorly in uni and things like stress exams and everything would trigger my acne i've now come to a place where no matter what i'm going through in life my skin just always goes and why that has its disadvantages <laughs> um we will just focus on its advantages today and what I've learned over the past four years focusing on skincare and sort of discovering what works and what doesn't work with skincare and basically what I've done for myself and how I've transformed my skin to today, not using any sort of filter or makeup for this video and still looking great, not even makeup. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so see this again as your guide to skincare basics. The first one on the list for me is the only two rules that exist in skincare are actually to exfoliate, number one, and to moisturize too, or in any other really. Exfoliation and moisturizing, that's all that really matters in skincare. To break it down, you can take it as exfoliation at nighttime, moisturizing in daytime. Again, moisturizing in daytime and exfoliation in the nighttime. So the reason for this is most of the time you use acids and strong ingredients to um, exfoliate your skin and you want to keep that to nighttime because there'll be no sun, as I mean, we're not in summer or like, you'd, and you also have them on your skin for a long time and you likely have less side effects at night. There's no sun, number one, and number two, you're in bed, you're resting. So it has time to like really sit in and do its job. Um, so that is with exfoliation. I'm talking about chemical exfoliants in this case, like your AHAs, BHAs, acids that basically help you to exfoliate and get that skin cells off. That's one, that's nighttime. Guys, forgive my order. And now in the daytime, you want to moisturize and moisturizing, you could do that easily and just throw on an SPF, making your skincare routine less complicated in the daytime. So now that we have that rule, exfoliating and moisturizing or moisturizing and exfoliating, all you now have to think about are the ingredients you use for that or for those. And on days where you can exfoliate in the nighttime, you might as well moisturize because you can't ever over moisturize really guys. So, um, yeah, that's the thing. So with exfoliation, you want to give it to only two to three times a week. So if the other nights in the week, then you just want to moisturize. Um, so, well, those are the two basic rules in skincare. And you just have to stick to this to make your skin glow. Now, fitting in what ingredient goes where is where like it may get slightly complicated. But it, once you know those two things, it's about researching what you should be using to exfoliate in your specific, you know, situation. Let's say you have acne or hyperpigmentation or and what you should be using to moisturize for your own specific situation as well let's say you're struggling like melasma or whatever skincare condition you have so those are the things you need to keep in mind guys and that's where the research comes in okay what active ingredients do i need for this specific concern so moisturizing and exfoliating that's all you need guys that does that's the only grail of skincare you don't have to worry about anything else literally okay so my second um unpopular opinion about skincare maybe not so unpopular but we'll just stick to that is you don't have to use the most expensive products on market contrary to what people you know may portray online you don't necessarily have to use the most expensive product on market if you don't have you know very serious skincare problems and very basic products are doing the job i'd say stick to that because that will save you money guys like really skincare you're playing the long game with skincare you don't want to keep like building on personally for me i don't want to keep building on and adding more expenses increasing like you know 
how much I'm spending on skincare every year when that's just lifestyle inflation. That's as good as, you know, changing your car every year because you're earning more than you would hardly save, right? So you want to keep, even if you're upgrading, you want to keep it like slow and steady. You don't want to keep going, okay, more expensive this time, more expensive this time. Do you know what I mean? So if something is working, just stick to it. And if simple products are working for you, oh, not pun not intended, but actually simple product, simple the brand, um, are quite affordable and if that works for you honestly at this point i use a simple toner i had a point in my life where i used to use claire's which was more expensive like high range and all that next extremely high range but relatively high range i use claire's i used you know which is a toner is sort of like medium range but now i use simple and it works for me so like i'll stick to, i'll stick to my simple especially if you've come to from a place where you had serious skincare issues and now all you're doing is maintaining your skin trust me you can use like very cheaper products sort of drugstore kind of products as long as you know what active ingredients work for you and why you're using what you're good to go you don't have to use expensive brands more comes into skincare like what's going on under the skin things like your diet how much you're sleeping um your lifestyle do you smoke do you drink a lot those things will tell more as to you know how your skin looks and how your skin feels more than just skincare sometimes i feel like people are trying to slap skincare on top to cover up what's going on underneath the body which could be like good but you don't want that to be a long-term strategy so instead of using more expensive products fix whatever it is fix your sleep fix your coffee addiction your caffeine addiction fix whatever it is and you know that's it guys so moving on to the third one guys my third unpopular skincare opinion i hear lots of skincare um sort of influencers say you shouldn't use like warm water um you shouldn't use why i get it you shouldn't use scaldi not to on your body and that would be too painful anyway but for me even though even if it's summer i would always use warm water in the shower it's just nice comforting it's therapeutic so why would i do that so i may stay in the shower for 30 minutes using real warm water and while that i know that that is dehydrating the opinion people say is don't do that personally i will but i know the price to be paid for that is moisturizing like my life depends on it because using warm water or relatively hot water that much would dry out your skin and so for me that i already even had dry skin from the start that i've tried to correct over the years anyway um what i just do is i moisturize like i really moisturize you should check out my video in springtime winter and fall skincare routine anyway for me i actually use that all year round because my skin tends to be dry anyway um so i think that is quite important to do to use and um, to if you are using lots of warm water in the shower because your skin is going to feel very dry so just moisturize like your life depends on it so you don't see those side effects for me i don't my skin feels the same all year round and with my warm water um because i moisturize so much already not extremely i, I won't call myself an elsa majimbo and how she slaps those oils on but i definitely moisturize i like double layer my moisturizer and then a very thick oil um to just like seal it in yeah, so I do that because I know what I do in the shower and how warm my water gets because that's what I like. So, yeah, my own unpopular opinion would be you can actually do that. You just have to pay the price, which is like moisturizing so much and definitely use a moisturizer that is really nice. I'll probably do a video on moisturizer soon. I use one with lots of ceramides, but I would do a moisturizer review soon and why I've used what I've used over the past I think four years okay moving forward my fourth unpopular opinion is that you have to actually get to a point where your skincare routine blends with your lifestyle or you burn out think about it if every time every year year in year out every three months you are researching skincare products you're doing this you're doing that like it gets stressful doesn't it like you have other things to do in life for me personally i could do that a lot during covid and but moving on you've got work you've got friends you've got families catch on with if you enjoy skincare like i do or maybe you are using it for something yeah the research is great but if you want to be realistic you're talking about skincare is not just now when you're young don't see it as a trendy thing it's something that will last into like your 90s you've got like you leave to your 100 it's something you have to carry on forever so you have to get to that point, irrespective of how much you love skincare, where you can 
fit to your skincare routine into your lifestyle without being stressed like it just it gets as normal as eating food or whatever so yeah you have to get to that point at some point you need to decide when that point is for you but the sooner you can do it the better especially if you've gotten to a place where you've solved most of your skincare problems you must be willing to accept what's residual and just stick to what you have and being able to sort of carry on with other areas of your life i'm afraid you can't just like be all skincare day and night but if you want to like by all means do <laughs> my next and popular opinion is guys skincare is hard it is hard sometimes you you don't want to wash your face at night i'm not talking about when you have makeup on i'm talking about nights where you know maybe it's winter it's cold you've showered in the morning and some people are not quite sweaty they're actually really cold and freezing and their bodies are dry at night and you're even thinking of moisturizing more than ha taking a shower most people shower once a day in winter and most but some people do twice a day i'm aware um so like days like that where you don't want to even like get up to you know do your skincare or whatever but yes then having a goal in mind actually helps you to overcome you know all those little problems here and there those little challenges that stop you from doing your skincare routine especially that night time on um having a goal in mind so if there's like a wedding your wedding is coming up or your birthday is coming up or you have a trip coming up or oh, trips are a big one for me because if i have a trip coming up i just up my skincare because now you're thinking okay maybe you'll be exposing a bit more skin than you would wherever you live maybe england if it's cold where you are or wherever or you know you have something you just have some family event coming on you want to show off you know you want to show your nice skin or you're meeting up with friends or something and you sort of want to look young and plump um so having a goal in mind helps so it's nice that even if it's hard at the point at that point skincare is hard for you maybe because you're going through something or it's just a particular phase for you having a goal in mind having something having a reason why definitely helps in sort of being consistent to your skincare routine so that's definitely a trick i think it's important to have in your arsenal um so guys i know i've been talking and talking but do not forget to hit that like button just to make, to make sure this video really goes around gets to everywhere it needs to get to okay thank you guys like subscribe share with a friend okay i really appreciate it words of mouth referral helps make the channel grow really appreciate it thank you and to all my loyal subscribers as well okay guys so the last but not the least i think this is actually one of the most important points is work on having healthy skin and not perfect skin perfect skin is a myth like i've been working on my skin for the past four years but if i really wanted to sit down and say oh i want to correct this like there are things i can start pointing to you know we humans you're never really um fully satisfied anyway so healthy skin what really matters is for your skin to be healthy and when your skin is healthy it glows it shines you know people can like people look at you and just think you're healthy it's just like healthy weight it's not one thing or the other it's just you know a healthy weight for you so you have your everyone has their own baseline um that works you know going into bmi and all that same thing applies to skin where everyone has their own baseline and everyone's skin would be kind of um different in terms of baseline so walk towards healthy skin rather than perfect skin a bit of acne on some days maybe you have some hormonal fluctuation ovulation periods etc is not the worst thing in the world and you shouldn't panic about those everyone has those so don't be too worried about it even your best actresses or whatever off camera gosh like everyone has their struggles that is my old point so be kind to yourself healthy skin should be the goal not perfect skin let me know which of this um skin care tips or skincare and popular opinions resonates with you the most definitely like and leave a comment in the comment section and let's get this discussion going about skincare and um, i would see you in my next video if you like this video i think you're really going to enjoy my next video which is the one product skincare product you need for your face this summer okay and i will see you in that video cheers and bye bye